Hi there and welcome to That Guy That Talks About Tecla. Today we're going to talk about setting default project properties. File project properties, whatever you see here in these boxes can be set in the background of Tecla structures so you can load them uh, every time in your firm folder or on a model by model basis. So if you have something like the same designer, the same builder, or the same postal code or country or whatever these boxes, you can set them up in a file outside Tecla and I'm going to show you how. All these boxes here, they have um, attributes behind them that can be accessed in templates or drawing templates. All right, so before we um, before we go into the uh, system file where these are located, just a few articles that I've saved in the background that led me to finding out how these can be edited. The first article on Tecla User Assistance is called Standard Files. This article here tells you all about standard files, the extensions and what they contain. So scrolling down on these, I found out that the one that I was more uh, interested in sorting out my query was the file called standard.prf, which contains the project properties. Now, I've got another article here, which talks you all about the, the boxes that you see in the project properties and the attributes that you can use in reports or templates. And we're going to get to this, uh, the second article when we're going to start developing the file standard.prf. Now let's go back to our uh, model over here, project properties, and we see these boxes are uh, pre-filled in the UK environment with these um, strings. For example, for the name, we have DRG proj name set as default. Again, these are uh, environment specific. So because we are in the UK environment, these are the values associated with the UK environment. If you open up your Tecla structures in the default environment, these might be uh, blank or they might have another shape. Because this is a, so the standard.prf is, uh, is, is an environment file, we're going to go straight to the UK environment uh, folder on our desktop. I've got my Tecla structures saved in system C. Now, going to the specific version 2022, environments, going straight to the UK and you will find them uh, in general, model settings, scrolling down, we've got a lot of standard uh, files, uh, files around here. So we just need to go to edit the one that we are most interested in, which is standard.prf. Selecting this file, right click, you can cho uh, choose to open it with Notepad or Notepad++. Plus uh, Plus. So this is what it looks like. Now, just minimizing this and just putting it right uh, alongside with project properties. You can see it's matching, right? So uh, without knowing any bits of programming or um, um, namings or whatever these uh, PD underscore uh, values are, you can just make a parallel between the values. PD project number, drawing project number, PD name, builder, we've got object. Um, we should have had, so my OCD tells me that we probably want this just under object. So I'm just matching um, the order of these boxes over here. So we have the designer, we have the address, um, and then we would offer, would have postal box and this is where, uh, you can start adding your own, um, or 
are the missing boxes from, from the project properties. But this is where the second article from, from Tetla User Assistance comes in hand. If I go back to um, project properties over here and I see postal box would be number eight. I'm just going to uh, write postal box without the underscore into the PD box. Postal box. And let's just say uh, PD. So I'm, I'm just going to start editing uh, these as we speak. Project number, uh, project name, uh, YouTube video. Build there would be, uh, say, Trimble. Uh, object would be uh, customers. Designer would be me. You can just put in uh, one down street. Uh, start there you can just give it a start you can just leave it empty so you can just fill it uh, as soon as you will start the project something in the future and then um, so we were at the postal box uh, obviously start adding uh, and I'm now just gonna fill in uh, only two of them, but the same logic will follow if you want to kind of uh, fill in everything from there. So the next one is city, and I think city is um, on the article is classed as um, town. So this would be the attribute town, and I will just write exactly like that. Uh, town will be that will be leads. Um, and postcode, I'll just write postcode and, and that'll be, that'll be pretty much it for this exercise. Um, going back to the, uh, page. So the postcode would be postal code without any underscore. Postal code. And less 27 something like that um this would be the info one info two description and then i'll just save it so now you have a file that you've created that you can either drop it in your model folder or carry it across in your firm folder so every time you start a new project, you will have all these common values populated automatically. I'm just going to save it. I'm not going to close it. So we can double check and, and, uh, and reference it with the new model that we've created. Um, a quick note here would be that once you've created a, a project, uh, these values will be populated in the respective uh, boxes. But once you've created a project and once you have these values set uh, at the beginning, you cannot alter them unless you come into these boxes and uh, do uh, do alterations manually. So in order to see that those uh, uh, those settings have uh, uh, been taken into effect, I'm just going to create a new model quickly. I'm just going to save. Uh, that's okay. We have a new model. And now let's see what we have in our project properties. Straight away, we see exactly what's been filled in. We've done a great job by transferring the attributes uh, right into this uh, notepad. So no pro programming required, no previous knowledge. You just use a little bit of um, a little bit of comparison and just translate information that you have available. See you for now. Bye-bye.